Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel when I'm not opening up advent boxes, limited edition boxes, and now 12 days of Christmas boxes. Today is day two of our 12 days of Christmas or 12 more days of Noelle series, which of course alludes to the fact that throughout the year I usually have an unboxing video for you every single day, but also because we just finished our advent series where I opened six different advent boxes with you day by day. By the way, there is is still time to enter to win some of the goodies from some of those boxes by filling out the multiple choice quiz which shows me that you uh watched most of the videos, if not all of them. Of course, there's a playlist, so you can just have it playing in the background if you have some downtime for the next week or so. I do hope that you will join me for this entire series because we have four different boxes this time around, which again, we are opening day by day. There's actually an extra box because I'm also sharing with you the candles in the 12 day candle box that came in the My Trove box holiday box, which you can still get your hands on in the marketplace. All of the details for these different companies I'm featuring are listed for you in the description box below but each day we are going to kind of focus on, on or highlight one of the boxes so because there are four main boxes we'll wind up going through the whole series basically three different times so each box will get highlighted three different times in our 12 days which will go through January 5th so let's talk about today's box because I am so so excited about it I know some of you saw it on the pink envelope which is another great unboxing channel I think Samantha does an awesome job and that is where you guys told me about YSM designs they have a jewelry subscription which I am hoping to review here on the channel because you know I love my jewelry subscriptions especially when you get to keep everything and it's beautiful designs but she also did a 12-day box and I wanted that to be part of this series because I'm really trying to show you some diverse boxes ones that you could definitely gift to someone and ones that you can still enjoy ones that are still available and the good news with this one you guys is it is still available and if she has any left as of today I believe it is going on sale so let me just show you she did such a great job with this small business she is gorgeous and her designs when I started checking out her site I was like this is totally my kind of jewelry you guys so it came in this beautiful custom-made box with this beautiful ribbon which I'm gonna have to take off for you guys and we already saw day one was a lovely snowflake necklace which I'll be putting on here in just a second I just want all my thumbnails to match you know and I'm doing some batch filming but let me uh, read to you about it so it says it features a stunning collection of our best-selling jewelry designed to layer up and mix and match for multiple looks the 12 days of Christmas gift box consists of 12 drawers containing a delightful jewelry surprise of either earrings necklace bracelet or pendants from a classic piece for everyday looks to party perfect pieces you will be pampered each day with this beautiful gift this holiday season so nice magnetic closure box isn't this beautiful you guys look at the drawers so kind of similar to our literary book club one where you could actually put it on you know a bookshelf very easily you could easily reuse it because she actually designed it it's got all of her information on the back lovely magnetic closure i mean this is such a stunning beautiful gift and we haven't even gotten into it i just i think this is awesome so i hope that she does this again i could see just getting like the refills too so you could put it into the drawers and not necessarily needing the box but let me tell you a little bit more about it so it was $250. You guys, I believe that today, if she has any left, it is going on sale for $209. The value of this for these 12 beautiful pieces of jewelry is $415. So you're getting a great deal, especially now that it is discounted because it is after the holiday. But I also have an extra code for you, which is Noel10. Write out the word 10, T-E-N, off. Noel10 off will get you an additional $10 off so generous right don't worry I'll leave all that information for you in the description box below um, so and then it, she did tell us all of the items that we got inside as well but there's little cards that give us a little bit more detail which I thought was really awesome all of the items are water resistant gold plated metal nickel and lead free there's also a mystery gift box option available I don't know if it still is but you would select that if you wanted silver pieces to be included because I think that this box is just all gold which you know perfect for me definitely so it's not the exact same style as the classic advent calendar because I think some of the pieces were different it says that if you wanted the mystery gift box the contents will be tailored to your jewelry preference information that you provide during checkout so for example if you're like I don't want earrings I want more silver pieces then it's she's gonna like put it together just for you and this was like sort of the set box so 
And this says the following information is things that you need for the personalization, silver or gold, earrings, necklaces, bracelets, rings are all, dainty and minimalistic or statement making, initials and birthstone month and zodiac of the recipient, just in case she has some specific things, size for bracelet, necklace, rings, if known, and any other information. So you can kind of give her a good idea of the style that you like or that the recipient likes and do the mystery gift option, which I think would be really, really cool. But I just kind of saw that these totally fit my like style anyway, so I was like perfect with it. So she also has a subscription, you guys, which I'm hoping to get to share with you soon on the channel. It is just $50 per month. Let me just read about that for you. Our mystery jewelry subscription box is the absolute perfect gift for yourself or someone you love. It's a perfect gift for moms, sisters, and the ladies in your life. You get to customize that too, where you get to say silver, gold, or both, dainty or statement, ring sizes, bracelet sizes. Each box will contain products worth at least that $50 investment and will contain different combinations of our best-selling products. Some months will give you choices and some months will surprise you. We'll send seasonal pieces and some limited edition, limited edition pieces made exclusively for subscribers. All subscribers will receive communication on around the first of the month with the choices. You can choose the items or let her choose for you. Now I do have a code for that as well. Yay. Good news, you guys. So it's Noel free F R E E and you will get a free organizer with a three month subscription. So it's actually a $34 value. So you get this $34 value, nice organize jewelry organizer along with your three month subscription great awesome option as well and finally i have one more code for you so a total of three codes the other one is just 10 but this time the number one zero 10 noel for 10 percent off everything in this in the shop isn't that amazing you guys i think that's so good so uh definitely figure out which of those options works for you maybe 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 all of them but i think you should get your hands on this box if it is still available so I wanted to show you again the uh, snowflake that we got for day one because I did get the kinks out of it but it's nice because on the chain there are different lengths that you can do so you can go nice and short if you want to but look how beautiful that is I just thought that was so so lovely love the snowflake necklace all right you guys so let's see what we got for day two and I can go ahead and put day one back in there so day two and they just kind of slide out so you can take the little box out day two has a little present on it and then she did these little cutout hearts all with different patterns and a little label on them I just think that is amazing so much work she put so much work and effort into this um, says add this to any of your necklaces in this collection to add a festive holiday color to your ensemble all right and then inside there's a little bit of cotton and then there's a little like wrapped bundle I just I'm so impressed that she did this. So again, I think so far it has been well worth the the value. And she did send this to me for review. She's a very sweet gal as much as I can tell so far. Okay, so it's just a simple pendant. Let me see if I can hold this up for you. I'm trying to see. So it's a red crystal pendant. I want the color to shine through. So I don't want to put my hand behind it. Isn't that pretty? Just a simple teardrop shape really catches the light. You can put that on any chain. I could definitely even put that on that snowflake chain. I could even put it on with the snowflake if I wanted to add a little bit of color to it. So I love that. And you guys know I love red. So um, that's such a pretty chain and it's a pretty pendant and it's like a great size. So let me see if I can show you. I'll show you right there. So let's see if I can move this so you can get a good idea. So perfect like everyday size but that really gorgeous uh, jewel tone of course. So it's a red crystal pendant uh, kind of a more on the like plummy like garnet side right. Isn't that pretty? I love the facets of it that give it that extra sparkle so it's not just smooth but faceted. Yes that's so exciting. I love that. I thought that was a beautiful gift for today. So let's move on to our others of course. So we are also doing the 11 Nights in Bird Moss box, which comes in a very cool like cake shape. I'll show you the wedges, but I don't want to take it apart until we get to it as the featured one. So today, and each of those boxes had a little card that tells us about the item. So instead of having like a single product card or brochure, some of these boxes are doing individual descriptions. These are acorn cap candles. It says these tiny handmade beeswax candles burn for about a quarter of an hour. So that is 15 minutes. Float them in a vessel of water during intention setting rituals or as a focal point while glimpsing never leave a burning candle unattended i love that oh and then there's like a poem on the back you guys this box is so special the briefest light a strange writer greets you you are marked by three pale roses i perceive them on your cheek they are never forget 
Grindbone, and Loveleaf. I have brought you candles to help you see. You float an acorn cap candle in a chalice of wine. It points you to a brambly tunnel between the trees. When the light goes out, the tunnel closes behind you. So see, these are all like sort of ways to enter mystical, magical worlds. So here is our acorn cap candle. You guys can see the wick is super long, so you might want to trim that wick, obviously. And they're going to float because they are in these natural vessels. I love that idea. So, so you can see some of them have little like little stems upside down. So that provides like a little bit of a of an anchor or um. It's gonna give it a little bit of stability. So we got four of them. I just think that would be so pretty. So what a kind of a fun way to end your evening, maybe when it's winding down, to float them in a vessel and then be like, when the lights go up, then it means it's time, you know, our evening has come to an end. But very, very pretty. Um, they'd be cute just having floating, like if you have like a little reflection pond or pool. But how special is that, that she gave those to us? Someone created those. And then there was the poem. And I love the idea of them sort of being this entry into a different world where one when the lights go out the uh, tunnel closes behind you because now you're in a different land so it is such a special box you guys just the, even the monthly ones but i knew that the 11 nights in bird moss would also be really really special all right for our other candle from our my trove box uh set we got uh for two turtle doves because we're going through the whole song two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree so it's a red currant and today it's kind of funny it's wound up being in the gold vessel instead of the red vessel for red currant but Oh, these all have such good scents and they they smell they smell delicious and fresh and so far there hasn't been one that's been like too holiday like spicy for me which is the tendency but oh they look so gorgeous in this like kind of antique glass here you can see more of the modeling the spotting the speckling I just love those so that's kind of our half box because I don't have much to say about it but I will feature it a little bit more one of these days uh, when I don't have like lots of lots of other stuff to show you but all right, you guys, let's talk about our Once Upon a Book Club days, 12 days of book club -mas. Uh, so today for our story, let's see what we had. That one started on page 22. So I have to see what the uh, title was to uh, give myself a refresher. The Quarter Life Crisis of Eleanor Mitchell. So Ellie Mitchell basically is uh, home and she's visiting her auntie uh, and she's trying to figure out what she's going to do in terms of going to grad school. And she's got a little bit of a, you know, maybe rekindling a romance with this guy named Diego and it's just kind of one of those things where she's like figuring out where she has is in life so um, I'm guessing that has to do something with the author so our open your gift um, not actual sticky but printed sticky in this particular uh, short story came on page 27 so like I said you guys I haven't really opened any of these but um, this is what day uh, two looks like so let's see if you guys can guess what it is all about but let me go ahead and uh, find the page and read to you the little passage that comes right before it so auntie is um sh they like to read together i believe so let's see let's see let's see um yes so she'd make the trip to come by and then they would like read books together yes i think so yes she was always bring books so don't forget to wipe your feet, Auntie calls from the kitchen, poking her head around the corner to check. I know you've got better manners than that. Yes, Auntie. Ellie's glad for the reminder. She actually loves this doormat and hasn't had a chance to pay it the proper attention it deserves. Just like the tray, it's a familiar friend she hasn't seen in a while. She looks down at the jute mat, pristine despite the years. It has black letters in crisp lines that don't say welcome like let any old mat because Auntie would never be so boring. It reads, come back with books. Ellie's taken that message to heart. She knows Auntie hasn't been able to drive in years, and despite their local library and bookstores being only a few miles away, the walk has become more and more out of reach. So she brings books to read with Auntie, even though she's been away at college, but she hasn't been away that far. So guess what we got, you guys? 
not books, which I was like, eh, it could be books or it could be the doormat. And then when I actually saw the, uh, the size of the bag, I was like, I think we got a doormat, which is cool. I think I've gotten doormats in book boxes before though. I'm pretty sure I've gotten some like in an unplugged book box. I think, uh, I've gotten a few, which is kind of interesting, right? Um, sometimes I don't know what to do with them because uh, I have very low clearance doors and sliding doors, but this one might be good. So hopefully it actually matches what it says. So they have a nice jute welcome mat with the uh, Once Upon a Book Club label on it. So it says, come back with books. It is 15 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches. Should we open it up? Let's see if we can. I don't know. I'll never be able to roll it up quite as tightly, but I am so impressed with you guys with the size of that box it is so huge and it was so heavy like when it showed up my delivery guy was like uh do you need help with this and i was like i think i got it and i had to take it with two hands i was like wow i'm glad you brought this up the stairs for me so it is stitched all the way through which i do like so that's actually really cute i like it i don't mind that it says come back with books even though i'm usually not like a big bookish gift fan like but I like this. It's pretty thin. It might actually work under my door, but you can see it is embroidered, stitched all the way through. So, um, so it's actually reversed here. So come back with books. So you guys can actually see it there. So come back with books. I think that's pretty cool. All right. So that's what we got. Come back with books. Love it. So, uh, I don't mind that one at all. I don't know that it's worth like yeah, I guess it could be worth $30 and especially because they had a custom made so that was kind of a cool item Let me go ahead and grab that again because we might want to take a look at the very very end So then let's see what else we got. So we already talked about our candle. We talked about once upon a book club we talked about our uh 11 nights in bird moss which means we just have our bamboo box so this is what this one looks like so they did blue they did brown they did this uh nice ribbon and i thought it was really cute that they did like the sticky bows and everything so the bows just the bows just come off i can put that there um should i put that there it would actually stick you guys because it has some sticky glue on it all right let's see if i can pull this off so i do love any box so this is kind of like um not quite as uh, luxe as maybe my French country home, but uh, they definitely had someone go through and wrap all these boxes. Some of them were sort of the foldable ones where they could just pop it in there, but the fact that someone wrapped this one is pretty cool. So I didn't know what to expect from this one. This isn't like a brand that as I, I don't think they have a subscription box, but I was just looking for kind of different 12 days boxes. There's a lot of like candy ones out there. There's a few beauty ones out there. I was kind of surprised that there's not more in all honesty because 12 days boxes even though they're marketed as advent boxes they really make sense as gifts that you can give to someone under the tree right so I feel like a 12 day box is easier to market right up until the last day before Christmas so I feel like more boxes should be doing them all right we got a box within a box and of course it's taped still so I have to uh, get in there the only thing with unboxing things you guys on camera is I don't get to do it as neatly and as uh, OCD ish as I would normally so let's see what we got and I love that they have little tags inside each of them that tell us what everything is comfy socks make happy feet give your feet a mini massage with this soothing lotion and a foot hug with these comfy socks your feet will thank you all right this box is doing pretty good so far I gotta say I, I'm liking it so all kind of geared towards sleep and it's probably made out of bamboo so yes so you guys know not big sock person but oh and I love that it's in navy blue I know it looks black on screen but it is a nice navy blue nice uh, thin socks little footy socks that you could definitely use it does say a blue on the foot though so these would make great little like sneaker socks really really soft and comfy and it was a two-part gift so even if you know you're not a sock person like me then you also got this soothing lotion in a nice jar so it doesn't have the ingredients or anything on it which is kind of interesting but Ooh, that smells really good I totally like got some on my lip <laughs> um, that smells really good so I think that's an awesome gift. All right, let's go over everything that we got. So we got our red current candle for today from uh, Once Upon a Book Club. We got our jute doormat that says come back with books, which is pretty darn cute. The story was not my favorite so far because there have been some pretty good ones, but still really good. From 
YSM Designs. We got this very pretty little pendant. And then from 11 Nights in Bird Moss, we got our floating acorn cup candles, which I thought was fun and magical. And then finally, from Bamboo, we got a little set. We got a nice little uh, lotion to massage tired feet, and then these super soft socks for me to skate around my house in. So you guys let me know in the comments below what what um, advent calendar is kind of, advent calendar, bad Noel, bad. What 12 days box is surprising you so far and what was your favorite item for today? They don't have to match up. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please help me out with a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you later in my regular unboxing at 2 p.m. Pacific and then of course tomorrow for day number three.